laser has uh, many advantages. One, uh, we have uh, the fact that it cauterizes as we're cutting. Uh, so pretty close to bloodless surgery. The second is that um, it actually, for me, post-operatively, uh, caps off nerve root endings. So when you use a scalpel blade, um, basically it's kind of like getting a paper cut. Your nerve roots are exposed, um, and so there's a lot of pain sensation associated with it. With the laser, we cap off those nerve root endings. Uh, basically, the patient doesn't feel a lot of post-operative pain associated with it. Um, and so, especially with dogs and, and, and cats, you know, that are uh, prone to kind of grooming and licking at the area, this doesn't draw their attention to the focused area. Uh, very easy to operate, uh, very easy, uh, quick learning curve. Basically, there's uh, preset programs. Um, it's uh, pretty much, uh, you know, point and shoot and then get going. Cutting through tissue, it was like cutting through butter. Um, so uh, I was able to uh, basically remove masses uh, without, a, without having major concerns and, and snags and, and uh, causing tissue damage or trauma. Today we ended up using a, a very low wattage on, on the uh, Wolf. Uh, we had a six watts on the Wolf. Um, didn't have to go any higher than that for most of my procedures and we actually removed uh, fairly significant uh, tumors or masses from pets. Uh, the benefit obviously uh, with the Fox is the portability of the Fox. Uh, so it has a lithium ion battery which is rechargeable and so that means that um, I also do uh, equine work as well. So if I wanted to go out into the field or if you have a, a person who's doing mobile practice. Uh, the flexibility of the uh, Fox, uh, where it can actually provide um, activity for uh, Imundo, uh, stimulating a uh, uh, infracyanine uh, type dye, and then actually trying to kill off bacteria, uh, and doing a good job at that with uh, deeper penetration. Um, also, the fact that we can actually use this for low-level laser therapy. I can see where the flexibility of this unit would actually come into play, especially in a uh, private practice type situation or a mobile practice. Laser implies technology or advanced technology, so I think clients are, are more apt uh, for us to um, kind of move ahead with a laser procedure than talking to them about standard stainless steel cutting uh, a mass out and everything. Um, especially when we start to uh, explain the benefits of decreased inflammation, decre decreased post-operative pain, uh, decreased uh, post-operative uh, secondary infections, uh, which is something that's actually becoming a big issue right now. With the laser, the benefit is that it actually vaporizes all those bacteria so there is definitely a, a significantly decreased chance of uh, developing secondary infections post-operatively. As uh, we've seen today, uh, we did most of our procedures, uh, actually all of our procedures, under sedation and uh, a little bit of uh, uh, analgesic medication. So basically for our patients, they don't have to move forward and get into the general anesthetic uh, where there's a higher risk of potential you know, uh, adverse reactions and, and, and maybe even death. Uh, so with sedation, our pets are awake um, and they're able to actually tolerate the laser as compared to doing multiple procedures with uh, surgical stainless steel.